friends, super excited. I'm gonna give you another update on the Seven Summer Flings tag. As you may or may not remember, I am doing all samples for this and inside this little pouch, I have all the samples that I have used. I am really dwindling down on the number of products that I have left, which makes me really excited because I have just done a real clean out lately of samples. And since I'm not getting nearly as many subscription boxes as I had gotten in the past, I am really starting to notice that I can get into the full size items and even those are kind of dwindling down in certain categories. So I'm just really pumped about doing this particular challenge. So let's go ahead and talk about the things that I've used. First up is the Glam Glow Gravity Mud Firming Treatment Mask. This is the one that's silver. It had a lot of praise when it first, first came out. And I watched a lot of videos on the review and everyone kept saying, hey, you should really do a thick layer. So I did. And so this only was able to cover like about half of my face, which really freaked Ben out when he came into the uh, bedroom and I'm just sitting there with a half silver face. I really did like this, but I'm not someone who's super into firming. I like this more for the novelty of the silver and the way it felt on my face, but right now I'm more worried about acne control and fine lines. So I don't necessarily think I need this, but I enjoyed the sample and wouldn't hate having more samples of it. I also use the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. This is a broad spectrum SPF 30. It's supposed to treat, blur, and protect. I'm a little unclear on if this is a serum and a sunscreen or if it's a primer or if it's all three of those things. I kind of used it as basically a serum. I would do it after I washed my face and put moisturizer on, I would then add this, but then I would then put a primer on. Um, I'm really on the fence on Murad products. I think that they're really pricey, which is why I haven't taken the gamble. I've heard a lot of great things about them, but until I get maybe like a sample kit, which is a 30 day supply or something like that, or even like a 20 day supply, I don't know how I'd feel about it as a line, but this wasn't necessarily bad. I'm pretty sure I also, yeah, I used the foil sample of it as well. Additionally, I used two more of the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Um, these are actually like concealer shades almost. I think that they're meant to cancel out any kind of veins or redness, 3.5 and 5.0. Um, these definitely are darker than my shade, but I feel like it doesn't really matter because I'm just putting any kind of eyeshadow over it. There is a, another one of these though. I think it's in like maybe eight. I'm not sure. I can't remember the number. I don't know if I'm going to actually use that one because it is fairly dark for my pale, pale complexion. So I'll crack it open and figure out if I'm going to use it or not. Um, if not, I'm just going to take it out of the challenge and I'll update you guys. Also use the Sephora Total Age Defy Night Cream. I had two of these little foil packets. Nothing noteworthy. The YSL Touche Clot. Uh, I think that's how you say it. I'm probably saying it wrong. Little sample here. This was actually really, really nice but it is expensive, so I won't necessarily get it. Uh, I use the FHI Heat Hot Sauce. This is fine, nothing super special. Wouldn't go out of my way to buy a full size. Use the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream. This I didn't love. It didn't help with my dark circles or my fine lines based on what I could tell, so I wouldn't buy it. And then the last item that I have is the Real Chemistry Luminous 3 Minute Peel. This is awesome. This stuff is surprisingly, I only got um, like two uses out of for being such like a big package. I have been struggling with exfoliating my face on a regular basis and I noticed that it felt like there was a buildup on my skin, like not necessarily product buildup or anything, just my skin felt like it had built up a layer. And I put this on and the next day it felt great. Like my skin, the peel sensation, it's super quick. You just wash your face, dry your face, put a thin layer of this on, you let it sit for like 20 seconds and then you just rub in circles around your face and it picks off all the sort of dead skin but also the skin that you have just kind of hanging out and it leaves such a soft finish on your face. I'm actually very tempted to purchase a full size of this. I don't have any other types of face products like this in my collection and especially with me being kind of lax about exfoliating my face, this is a real answer to that problem so I do recommend this. 
Alright guys, those are all of my samples. I don't have a ton left. I feel like maybe I've got a dozen samples left to use and then I'll be done with this challenge. I can't remember when this challenge actually ends. I have to look that back up. But I do feel confident that I'll be able to use these samples. And I'll talk to you guys in another video real soon. Bye.